makes him a response is one of the most ancient hymns uh, of Christianity and is found in all denominations from our Voices United, number 61. give as each is able in support of the good purposes of God in the church and in the world. Can I 
gifts, O God, may all heed the voice of justice, hear the call to compassion, embrace the way of sharing, and know solidarity with the loving Christ. join with one another in prayer. Gracious and loving God, Emmanuel, God with us, on this first Sunday in the new year, we pause to remember the year now behind us, to prepare our hearts for the year ahead. Throughout these many months marked by the COVID-19 pandemic, political intrigue, a reckoning on systemic racism, and ongoing violence in many parts of the world. You have journeyed with us, our refuge and strength in trouble, our comforter in sorrow, our friend in loneliness, our companion in joy, our challenger in complacency, and our guide in the pursuit of justice and peace. May all those near and dear to us and all others who are struggling in body, mind, or spirit experience your helping presence. And may we, as we are able, bear your comfort, love, and encouragement to others. We acknowledge with grateful hearts the blessings we have received from you this past year. For every experience that has brought us a fresh realization of your presence, we thank you. For the sense of dependence that has accompanied our increased awareness of human frailty. For the spirit of repentance when we have strayed from your path. For hearts that are restless until they find their rest in you, we thank you. For home, friends, and the gift of community. For technology that has kept us connected with each other. For valiant health care and essential workers. For truth tellers, justice seekers, and peacemakers, we thank you. For the earth that nourishes us. For sun and moon and stars. For the Bible that tells the story of your loving purpose, for the church that witnesses to your continuing presence, for the Holy Spirit that is even now speaking in our hearts. We thank you. For whatever private and personal experiences the year has brought through which you have taught us lessons we need to learn, we thank you. And above all, we thank you for the revelation of your love made known to us in Jesus Christ. O oh God, as we move forward into the new year, empower us to let go of what lies behind us and prepare our hearts for all that lies ahead, that we may be your faithful people, trusting that you remain closer to us than our own breath, and that your love will never, ever let us go. We pray now aloud and together as Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, our Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever.
celebration of communion is always a festival of friends pulling together of our loves and our hopes, our moments of agony and our glimpses of victory. It is here where bread is broken and wine is shared that we can most fully be ourselves and see others for who they truly are, children of the living God. Here the common things of life, bread and juice, Memories and dreams become holy, touched by God. Here that which is earthly becomes divine, and that which is human becomes more than has ever been dreamed. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and our gifts. It is right. And a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, holy God, creator of heaven and earth. We give you thanks and praise for this new year, and for every opportunity for faithful life and ministry in the family of God. And so, with all your people on earth, and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join in their unending proclamation. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of power and might. And might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. Your Spirit anointed him to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed and to announce that the time had come when you would save your people. In this time of new beginnings, as we enter the year 2021, we can be assured that we do not face the future alone, no matter where we go. No matter where we serve, we go and we serve with Christ. Indeed, when the Lord Jesus ascended, he promised to be with us always in the power of your word and Holy Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us, worshiping here, and on these gifts of bread and wine, make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ. Renew our communion with your church throughout the world, and strengthen us all to witness faithfully in your name. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through the word made flesh, your Son, Jesus Christ, with your Holy Spirit, in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, all gracious God, now and forever. Amen.
us pray. Holy God, light of our lives, allow our nourished bodies and renewed spirits to extend the grace of this table to others. For all whose paths we will cross this week, may your light shine through us. Your welcome be upon our faces, and your peace be in our reaching out. As followers of Jesus, we pray. Amen. <laughs> Schubert, an instrumental version of his Ave Maria. <laughs> 